Thank you for participating in Indiana's Flu Near You self-swab pilot program. We recommend watching this entire video before collecting and submitting your specimen. This is your Flu Near You swab kit for collecting a nasal specimen from individuals who are experiencing influenza-like symptoms, including fever and cough and or a sore throat. Please note, fever does not have to be measured. Reporting an individual is sick or feverish is sufficient. Inside your pre-labeled shipping box, you should have the following items. Your paperwork, including an overview of the project, collection instructions, a checklist and submission form, and a FedEx label. A pair of gloves, a mask for collecting specimens from someone other than yourself, viral transport medium, this is found in a plastic sheath and is a plastic tube with a red cap. There's a pink liquid in the tube. Please be careful when opening. A swab. Please use only the swab provided in the plastic sheath with the plastic tube. This is very important. A cold pack. Please keep this in a freezer upon receipt and do not remove it until you're ready to put it in the package for shipping. A plastic biohazard bag containing absorbent material. This bag will hold the tube in place during shipment to the ISDH. Please remember to leave the absorbent material inside and close it securely. A styrofoam shipping box for shipping the specimen to the laboratory for testing. Your swab kit may also include hand sanitizer and a pack of tissues with the Flu Near You logos. These items are yours to keep and are not necessary for specimen collection. Before you take your specimen, there are a few things you will need. First, a pen or thin permanent marker, packaging tape to close the shipping box, a small cup, and scissors are optional. To begin the collection, start by thoroughly washing your hands. When dry, put on the provided gloves. Open the package containing the swab and tube while wearing the gloves provided. Remove the tube and leave the swab in its packaging. Next, fill out the information on the specimen submission form with the information of the sick individual. Write the name and date of birth of the sick individual on the transport tube. Make sure the information written on the transport tube and specimen submission form match. If you don't, the specimen will not be tested. Place the transport tube in a safe, upright location so it will not fall over. A small cup can be useful for this. If collecting a specimen on another individual, put on the mask. The mask is not needed to collect your own specimen. Remove the swab from the packaging, being careful not to touch the swab end. To take the nasal specimen, tilt the head back slightly and gently insert the swab one inch into one nostril. The swab should be parallel to the roof of the mouth, not pointing upwards. The entire swab tip should be in the nostril. Rotate the swab three times. After you've collected the nasal swab, immediately remove the cap of the transport tube and insert the swab fully into the transport tube, making sure the swab tip is fully immersed into the transport liquid. Break the swab at the breaking point with either your hand or the scissors. Tightly screw the cap back onto the transport tube. Start by thoroughly washing your hands. When dry, put on the gloves provided. Put on the mask provided. Open the package containing the swab and tube while wearing the gloves provided. Remove the tube and leave the swab in its packaging. Next, fill out the information on the specimen submission form with the information of the sick individual. Write the name and date of birth of the sick individual on the transport tube. Make sure the information written on the transport tube and specimen submission form match. If you don't, the specimen will not be tested. Place the specimen in a safe, upright location so it will not fall over. A small cup can be useful for this. Remove the swab from the packaging, being careful not to touch the swab end. To take the nasal specimen, tilt the head back slightly and gently insert the swab one inch into one nostril. The swab should be parallel to the roof of the mouth, not pointing upwards. The entire swab tip should be in the nostril. This may produce some pressure, but it will not hurt. Rotate the swab three times. 
After you've collected the nasal swab, immediately remove the cap of the transport tube and insert the swab fully into the transport tube, making sure the swab tip is fully immersed into the transport liquid. Break the swab at the breaking point with either your hand or the scissors. Tightly screw the cap back onto the transport tube. Next, place the transport tube into the plastic biohazard bag, keeping the absorbent material inside the bag and seal it closed. Put the completed paperwork into the outer pocket of the plastic biohazard bag. Remove the cold pack from your freezer and place it into the styrofoam shipping box. After this, place the specimen and paperwork into the shipping box. Place the lid on the styrofoam box and close the box with shipping tape. Your specimen is now ready to be mailed to the Indiana State Department of Health Laboratory for testing. Take the box to a FedEx shipping facility as quickly as possible. The shipping label is prepaid and you do not need to label the box. Please ship specimens according to the dates provided in the instructions. If you collect a specimen and it will be more than one day before you can ship, place the specimen in a refrigerator until you're able to send it out. Thank you for helping us better understand and enhance community surveillance of influenza in Indiana. If you have questions about this project, please call 317-233-1325 during regular business hours and ask to speak to someone about flu near you.